Hey guys, how's it going? Just uh, pumping some iron. See a bummer. That's how it's done, like that. Eh? Yeah. Don't strain yourself. See that Obama? When you're the uh, leader of a great nation like uh, America, you uh, you gotta stay in shape. So you, um, just in case you have to defend, you know, defend the country. Yeah. Well, from what you say, hmm, well, you never know. For one, you never know. They might want to invade our, uh, the National Hockey League. Because I heard uh, Putin there um, actually single-handedly defeated the whole Russian NHL. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you got to say that's pretty good. But uh, I don't know. I think he might have... Uh, Got somebody to sneak in the dressing room there and give them some horse tranquilizers or something, maybe before the, the hockey game or something. I wasn't there to, to make sure everything was done fair, but they should have called me. Because you never know what that guy, right? You know what I mean? Like, he's, uh, I don't know. He competes, he, he likes to compete with me, you know what I mean? Because he knows he'll never win. He knew right away when uh, he seen me standing with the military there with my uh, golden uh, general helmet there. He knew, he knew, you know. We just had a moment there where uh, I, I looked at his, his shiny war helmet there and he at my golden American general helmet that I got here. And uh, he knew, uh, he knew he, um, he, it, he was out of his league, right? <sighs> Wrestle a bear, like, big deal. Why? Why would you want to, why would you want to disturb the bear? I don't, I don't want to disturb nature, you know, or I would go and wrestle a bear, you know. I always have to now, but uh, good thing my term's over, because, yeah, I don't know. I really, you know, I get no pleasure out of uh, disturbing a large mammal, you know what I mean? I know Putin, it probably uh, boosts his ego a bit, because, uh, yeah, he's only like, what is he, like, uh, Oompa Loompa height or some shit like that. Like, like uh, I didn't know whether to uh, to welcome him, um, uh, you know, or like well, give him hospitality or uh, tattoo his face orange, and dye his hair green, and throw him in the, in the, in the chocolate factory. <laughs> and give him to sing a funny song, right? <laughs> like, uh, I heard he does a pretty good Blueberry Hill. Sounds like, uh, what's his name there? Uh, Borat or whatever. <laughs> he can't sing. Like, come on. I don't know what I, Like, maybe, uh, Rasputin, like, uh, with Boney Maroney or something I could see, but, you know, I don't know. I never seen him do anything else on Twitter, so. I think Snowden's actually a way better singer than he, he ever was. Mm, for real. Mm. Well, I never heard him do Blueberry Hill, but he does a real mean, uh, mm, 
I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna zig say ah and shit like that. Yes, no, they did a really good rendition of that. I forget what that song's called. I think it's by, uh, mm, isn't it Celine Dion or something like that? I don't know. Whatever. It's, who cares, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. They wouldn't let me have a pet eagle. It kind of pissed me off. Because I was like, well, I'm the American president. I like, kind of need a pet to, uh, like, you know, kind of show that, right? So I wanted to, I was actually uh, going to get uh, some lower blades and uh, save on gas since we're trying to reduce the, our uh, industrial footprint on the planet. And I thought I'd just get two eagles with ropes and, like, lower blades, you know what I mean? And then we would, I don't know. My personal bodyguards would have none of it. None of it. No, not the Canadian province. And they were having none of me, uh, I guess, um, harnessing the power of the eagle. I don't see what the problem is. I'm sure the Canadians would have thought of, like, uh, tying ropes to beavers and, and, like, you know, going water skiing once in a while. Like, I'm sure they've done that. Like, is that how they invented hockey? I think. Well, anyways, uh, we're gonna make, uh, I don't know, we, I was thinking, uh, maybe, like, he, he, since uh, little Putin there likes to mess with people, eh? Like, uh, I was thinking I might go down there in disguise. Now that I'm not the president, it wouldn't be a conflict of interest, right? So, uh, maybe I'd just, like, uh, I don't know, sneak in there through Ukraine or something like that. Just, I don't know, I, I feel like I, even though, I, I feel it's still my duty to keep an eye on him, because nobody else does, you know? He's, he's like, uh, when, what do you mean, bromance? No, no, no. It's just a friendly competition, because, like I say, let's face it, me and uh, him are pretty much, well, we're all that's left, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, let's just call it. Uh, the itch, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, well, like, what other world leaders do? Like, pull stuff like us, like, save the villages from bears and beat the whole uh, Russian NHL. Like, I don't know. I gotta one up him now, but what do I, what do I one up with that? Like, I pretty much gotta, uh, Kill a walrus or something with my bare hands, don't I? Like, I don't know. It's get dangerous, you know. It's not easy. You know, being president, you think it's over when when your term's up, but really, it's something you get. You just wear, but the rest of your life, you can, you can't get it off you. I mean, like, who's who's gonna protect us from Russia for real? That. Who the fuck is that guy? The guy that, that's sitting in my chair now. Like, who, who is that guy again? <laughs> I don't know. They're making like a male version of the Golden Girls now? Or what? Like, I, don't get, I don't get it. <laughs> Might as well throw Hillary in there for whatever. I don't know. I, know. I know for a fact that Putin was death scared of that woman. More scared of uh, that woman than he was of like all of uh, NATO, I think. Like, I don't blame him, buddy. <laughs> he should just marched her up there. And, pff, the whole thing with Ukraine would have been over in like one day. Like for real. I'll give him. I'll give him that. Though he's a good motivational speaker when it comes to like when the minds go on strike. Like they really do listen to him. He's like Tony fucking Robbins. That's one thing I like where yeah, I give credit where credit's due. Like, but I'm still gonna beat them. I'm gonna get our coal mines really working even faster. I just gotta throw a few shovels and shit. You, I, I gotta, I gotta trade. I'm not gonna threaten them with Siberia. That's just cruel. 